Oh, yep, you got it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Righteous. <laughs> You can see we're the first ones that broke through the snow drifts, so we're the first ones up here hunting this spring. We got to a vantage point, sat down and glassed in a small opening. It didn't take long, and we spotted a bear down in the timber. He came up at 1,065 yards. We could have shot him with a rifle, but I had my heart set on getting another one with a bow, so we decided to watch him. We watched him for about 10 minutes, see which way he was going, see what kind of moves he was making. He was heading right up, following these mule deer to another skid trail above him, so Tom and I decided to run over there as quick as we could and try and stalk him with a bow. You saw a bear over here we're going after. This is a bear track. Bear track so. Go get him. Tom and I ran over there as quick as we could before it got dark. We were running down the skid trail where he thought the bear might be, and the bear surprised us. He was about a quarter mile before where he thought he might be. We came running around the corner and we both got a glimpse of just his black back silhouetted against the timber line right behind the little brim of that hill. When I just ranged him just now, he was at 50 yards and he disappeared behind the hill. So right now Tom and I are just sneaking in as quiet as we can and try and get within archery range. There's occasions here when you see me stop or get down, I see just his back or just his ears as he's feeding coming up toward the road. I know we're getting close, and I'm starting to get excited. When we went through this little dip here, I lost sight of the bear. Last I saw him, he was over that hill, feeding directly away from us. I'm hoping that he didn't go into the timber. Right now Tom's got the camera in one hand and the rifle in the other hand. The plan was if this bear didn't present an archery opportunity, that Tom was going to try and blast him with the rifle. Right now I just got a glimpse of the bear. At about 20 yards I saw his ears feeding up toward the road in front of us. So I told Tom to drop that rifle and focus on the camera. I knew something was going to happen quick. This ended up being the perfect stalking scenario. The wind was in our face. This bear is only at about 20 yards right now and has no clue that we're there. My eyes are a little bit taller than where Tom has the camera, so I'm able to keep a visual of his ears and his back and tell which way he's going to get ahead of him to set up for a shot. Good job, Chad. Archery bear, spring bear, <laughs> spot stock. That is so do. tough, man. Oh. Sometimes I don't know how you do it. <laughs> I just like, I see you knocking it. I'm like, why are we knocking it now? We can blast him with the rifle. Tom's got the rifle in his hand and I'm not I can see his back. It's pretty cool. We came around the corner, saw his back the back of a bear at 50 yards. And I'm just going down, it's perfect, right below the slowway. <clears throat> came up, told Tom to drop the gun and get the camera to skin. He just died right there. Uh, is that him black black thing there? I think it is, yeah. He died quick. That's awesome.
Dang exciting trap, I don't... Oh yeah, that is him. That's him right there, Tom. He didn't go far at all. He died. 15 yards. <laughs> what? That's incredible. That's crazy. I didn't have a pistol or anything with me, but... Yeah, when he started to run, I didn't know if he was running at us or away from us after <laughs> you shot. That is so awesome. Whew. That's worth it. There he is, Tom. I am Dead so bear. I'm so glad what that you, you are the only one here that can actually hold hold it and say, hey, let's get this thing with the bow. That is so awesome. I'm good. You're, you're not a big bear, but I mean, 20 yards, spot and stock. Yeah. I mean, it was a lot, a lot longer to stock than that, but incredible. Yeah. We saw this bear earlier today, and he was on this road feeding. So Tom and I came down, came around, just going really slow as we snuck around this corner, and Tom and I both saw it at the same time. You could just see his back, and it was perfect for archery because it was right over this landing right here. And we just let him feed up, came up on the road at 20 yards. Insane. It's pretty awesome. I'm sure you're going to need my help. It's kind of dark, so. Yeah, let's get him on the road. I don't want to grab my broadhead. I don't know where it's at, but incredible. High five, bro. Let's get this <laughs> thing to the road. That is pretty dang awesome. I'm, there's our really good animal to archery. There was just a, a guy that commented the other day. He said, oh, that must have been pretty lucky hunt. That doesn't happen often, and it seems like two times in a row you did this. Yep. You're pro, Trav. It's not luck. <laughs> it's a lot of luck, but yeah, it we is. put our time in, that's for sure. Yeah, Let's get fun. this guy through, get some pictures Alrighty. in the dark. Okay. It's Trav's shot. It's the money shot. Money right there, right in the heart. That's why it only went about 15 yards. I think my arrow passed through and sailed out into Never Never Land, but that's all right. Yeah. Awesome bear. Real pretty hide. All right, you saw the last part of the hunt, but what you didn't see as much of the beginning of the hunt because we were in a hurry to try and get in on this thing before dark. It was just the closing minutes of shooting light, and we spotted this bear across the canyon, and we could have shot it at it at about 1,065, and we would have had a good chance of hitting it, but we decided to take the safer route and get closer and try for bow shot. So. We snuck right in here. Uh, this bear was was feeding on this road, so we got down here as quick as we could. We had to run all the way around the draw, drop down, and ran down this road to where we thought he was, and then just really slowed down, started peeking around the corners, and came around this last little corner, and I could see the back of this black moving right over top of an old brush pile. And Tom and I both saw it at the same time. We both dropped. Tom had the rifle and he was really wanting to shoot this bear with a rifle. And right down there toward the end, I told him to drop that rifle and get the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and we first saw him at 50 yards, snuck up just a little bit closer there because he disappeared. And it was just perfect archery scenario. The wind was blowing down, so he wasn't gonna smell us. And uh, peeked over that brush pile and I, could, I just kept a visual of his head and I knew he was feeding right up toward the road, so we just waited him out, came up on the road 20 yards, drew back before he stepped up on it, and just pinwheeled him, hit him right, right here in the heart, came out this side, and he saw the rest. I mean, he went 15 yards and piled up. Couldn't have been a better scenario, and thankful for Tom helping me out. Hold up his head. Nice. Yeah. Good bear, pretty spring bear. Super thankful. Mm, it's gonna be some good eating. Yeah, I can't wait to mix some of this with pork and eat some breakfast sausage is what I'm gonna do with this meat. Awesome. Stay tuned for episode 80. We're meeting up with my brother-in-law, Adam Grenda, in pursuit of more spring blackbirds.